What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Film Session. So Indiana surrendered 17 three-pointers to Kennesaw State, the second most threes allowed to an opponent in the Mike Woodson era. As we've seen throughout Woodson's tenure, Indiana's defensive philosophy is to put a help defender at the nail off the perimeter drive, which has often left them susceptible to a one-pass kickout and a wing three-point attempt. For a team like Kennesaw State that likes to play fast and hoist three-pointers, they were able to feast. Let's take a look. With this ball screen being set several feet off the perimeter, we see Galloway actually in help position at the top of the key instead of the nail, leaving Cottle with space on the right wing. But here Indian actually executes well as Walker stunts to ward off the shot from the corner and recovers back to his man. But as the ball is thrown back around, we now see Mbako helping off his man. And the pass comes and Burden knocks it down. With Woodson giving Mbako an earful on the way back down the court, it's possible this type of help wasn't part of the plan. Off this miss from the Owls, they reset. There's not even a ball screen this time around, but Galloway helps on Burden and even has his back to his man, Johnson. So from there, it's a simple pass and the shot falls. Here we see another high ball screen far off the perimeter with Walker in help position at the top of the key instead of the nail. This leaves plenty of space for hold on the left wing. On the drive, we see Sparks, Walker, and Cups all near the ball and it comes loose. Walker's first instinct is to pop backwards, leaving him out of position to recover, so the pass comes and the shot falls. Cups calls out the switch up top here, but with Kato rejecting the ball screen and Banks opened up in a stance, Kato simply drives directly at Cups' nail help, makes the pass, and Holt hits the shot. Here in the second half, Indiana tried switching its bigs onto Kennesaw State's guards to try and slow the initial drive, but they simply reset and attack the nail help once more. Here it's Sparks and Cups switching. But Galloway is helping so far over before a drive even happens, Burden just has to make the pass to Cottle. Cottle ball fakes to get Galloway up in the air, drives and attracts Sparks on the nail help, and then it's a simple pass back to Cottle for the three-pointer. This time it's Renew and Cup switching. With Walker basically almost zoning up on Burton up top, Ademokoya is spaced on the left wing. He does the same thing Cottle did, ball faking to get the recovering Hoosier up in the air, extremely attracting Renew on the help, and firing back out to Burden, who hits the triple. And that's all she wrote for today's film session.